Hi, I'm Vincent R. Curie. Do you know what an absorption rate is? That's okay, because your real estate agent probably doesn't know either. However, it's the determination as if your house is gonna sell for a low price, an average price, or a high price. You better know your absorption rate. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Vincent R. Curie with Better Homes and Gardens, Ellie & Associates here in Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to talk about a, a very basic fundamental aspect of selling your home, and that is the absorption rates. One of the most astounding things that I find about the real estate industry is real estate agents are actually out listing and selling real estate, advising clients without knowing the absorption rate of your neighborhood. Here's a hot tip for you. If you're interviewing your real estate agent to sell your home, ask them what are the absorption rates in the neighborhood right now? Because if they're on a listing appointment and they don't know, they're probably not well prepared for your home to sell for the highest price possible. It's a very simple formula and I'm gonna try to explain it to you briefly right now. So an absorption rate is a simple financial calculation that economists use to determine the strength of the real estate market. It takes into account that the, in this fantasy scenario, if you will, it takes the, the sales in your community, in this example, 24 homes sold in your community of homes that were similar to yours. And we're gonna say that of the homes that are for sale now, no new homes are gonna enter the market and no homes are gonna be removed from the market. So in this example, let's say that there were 12 homes for sale in your particular neighborhood. Well, the absorption rate is six months. Now, if there were only two homes for sale in your community, then the absorption rate is one month. You get the picture? Well, let me tell you how this can impact your property values. If there were 24 homes for sale in your neighborhood right now and 24 homes sold last year, that's a pretty dark economic outlook for you if you're trying to sell your home because it says that the absorption rate is one year. If that were the case, I would probably advise listing your home a little bit under market so that you could get ahead of the curve and sell your home above the other ones that you're competing with. But if the absorption rate was six months, I would probably price your home at the average price point and maybe do some staging so your home outshines the competition. And if the absorption rate was only one month with the two houses selling and only two houses on the market, I'm probably gonna inch up the pricing so you're at the top of the market. This is how you get gradual increases in property values. For a real estate agent not to know the absorption rates and to blindly go in and assume that your home is gonna sell at a certain price without inputting this important factor into your market analysis is a huge mistake. So make sure your real estate agent knows about absorption rates. And if you know more about absorption rates than your realtor, perhaps you need to hire a different agent. I'm Vincent R. Curie, and if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in the Tampa Bay area, go right here to tampapad.com. Every home for sale in the Tampa MLS, regardless of what company has it listed, you can find it all right here. Don't forget to visit my website at headofrealestate.com right here on the screen, headofrealestate.com. And hey, while you're here, why not subscribe to my channel? Because Google says that's a good thing when people subscribe to my channel. So you should subscribe to it. It's good for me and somehow it's good for you too. So I'm Vince Arcuri. You can call me direct at the number that's been on the bottom of the screen this entire video, 813-VINCENT. That's 813-846-2368. Thanks for watching. Yeah.